And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, and good morning to Ronell Young, the founder and CEO of ProVision Charter School. What I gotta say, it is much more than a charter school, is it not? It was your vision so many years ago. Yes, uh, we started out as a uh, the infamous basketball game over in Southwest <laughs> Houston. I know. With three kids, but that led to 28 years later. And while we 28 years, yeah, later. yeah, 28 years, and we started with character development. And then that led to um, school in 95. And then um, since we've been in Sunnyside, we've added a 21st century um, farming uh, technique and aquaponics. And then we're looking at housing, affordable housing. And people should know you were you played in the NFL for a number of seasons. Philadelphia was uh, Philadelphia. Okay, all right. So we you took them to the we took them right outside of the promised land, but we didn't actually get there. But last year, okay, you can claim a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> la yeah la 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 last year. Um, that team made the city proud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you've been making this city proud for a long time with this pro vision when you decided to get involved. How easy was it or difficult was it to get people on board with this idea of what you were doing for these young men in the community who really needed support? Well, um, it was a challenge. I, I, would, I would say at, at, at one point uh, uh, it was a bit discouraging. Um, but I realized that it was something that was necessary. I was putting out a clarion call. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, it was uh, kind of mixed response. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't until uh, the co-founder, Mike Anderson, and I um, actually um, met some individuals who, uh, who came and, and began to aid us. Uh, Owen, um, Owen uh, uh, it was... Uh, or was it, uh, can't take it to school now, mm -hmm. but right, right on the corner, West Belford and Gessner. So that's where it started? Uh, yeah, that's where we started. Oh, Welsh Middle School, okay. I'm sorry. All Welsh right, so it's evolved now. Now you're at a point where you have a full-fledged charter there, and uh, yeah, I want to talk about the urban farm, because that's why okay. I brought you in today. We, this, this is an important role. It's t I want you to talk about a number of things. Number one, how uh, unusual it is to have an urban farm like this in the environment where you are now, and especially an aquaponics program uh, within your greenhouses, growing food in what is a food desert, Correct. at the same time teaching those young students that you have about uh, entrepreneurship, about right. business and that sort of thing. Correct. Talk about how important this is and what your role is. Well, um, I'm happy to say that we're probably one of the largest commercial aquaponics um, producers in this area. We started off, actually, we started off in 08 with a few raised beds, a mm -hmm. community garden. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> uh, Greg Hembrick was a gentleman that introduced this aquaponics program. So we started out being able to produce about 14, about 14,700 um, plants. When we're all finished with the uh, build out, we will be producing 38,000. Uh, plants and harvest in those uh, every six weeks. And you are, this is a commercial entity, you are... Yeah, it is, it is on purpose a commercial entity because in addition to uh, addressing the food disparities, uh, introducing kids to, to the process of farming, it's also a way uh, that we feel as a nonprofit, we can have some sustainability and residual income as well. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so while it's creating jobs, it's, it's uh, producing awareness at the same time, it will allow for us to offset our budget. And you recently got uh, a great support from the McNair Foundation, almost half a million dollars uh, going toward this program. Talk about what that's going for and how big of an impact that's going to make on this program. Well, that's huge. That's huge. Mr. McNair um, um, came out through the invitation of our board chairman, Alan Hassenflu, and uh, a number of people visit ProVision. And, you know, most 90% of that is, is slapping us on the back and saying, keep up the good work. <laughs> and then walking away. <laughs> and walking away. <laughs> and so I was not sure what Mr. McNair intentions were, but uh, he actually came and I was joking with the uh, foreman of, of the urban farm. And I said, Danny, Mr. McNair said that you have no more excuses now because he's going to fund the build out. And Mr. McNair uh, kind of echoed and said, yes, Daddy, you have no, <laughs> no excuses. You need to make this work. And uh, Daddy nearly swallowed his tug as a result. But Mr. McNair has come along and invested 400, 
and fifty thousand dollars in the completion of that urban farm uh, he understood and he saw the need for for that to be the engine that can help sustain provision and at the same time bring awareness and eliminate some of the food disparities. You've evolved, you've come along such a long way in a long period of time. What is your goal? What is your, how do you envision the end, not the end, because you're never going to do that, but how do you envision the success of this program? Well, the thing that led me into provision was, was those disparities and the, the, the things that were missing. And so the reason provision has evolved and what our real aim is, is the produce those things that are just and equitable. And so we started with character development. It evolved into uh, health educational choices, which evolved into food. Uh, we found ourselves in the middle of a food desert. And I will be satisfied, and something that we're working on now is a fourth um, component, and that is affordable housing. Well, I'm going to make sure that I put all of your contact information on the Newsmakers website on clicktohouston.com, and you can tell me how you want people to get involved going forward. I'm going to put it all on my website so people can know how they can come in and support you. ProVision is an amazing uh, vision of yours, and I thank you for what you've been thank able you. to do. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you so much. Thank, thank you. you. you got to go to the website and get that information. You won't regret it. I'll look ahead to next week, and a big thank you when Houston Newsmakers returns after the break.